Hey clarinets, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, today we're going to go over in this video where to place your fingers on the clarinet, okay? Where to place your fingers. My clarinet is already assembled and my reed is in line with my thumb keys and my thumb rest. My reed is in line with my thumb keys and my thumb rest. Now, my bridge key is in line with the key at the bottom. So everything is in line with each other. We're going to start with our right hand. This is our supporting hand. Our right hand is our supporting hand. So we see this little random, for some of y'all, it won't have anything on it and it'll just look plain silver. I have a little squishy from a pen that I took off and it's black so it doesn't stand out. And um, I just, you know, cut it small and put it on that thumb rest so that my thumb wasn't against the metal. Um, so your thumb is not going to, your clarinet's not gonna hook your hand. Your thumb is going to right where the thumbnail meets um, right where the thumbnail meets your cuticle or the, your skin, um, that's going to go in between that thumb rest, okay? You see that? My cuticle's right here. My thumb is right there. So my first finger wants to go here, and that's where it's supposed to go. The bottom keys on the clarinet have holes, and that's super easy on where to put your fingers. Again, my flute is... Um, well, my clarinet is on my right leg. My clarinet's on my right leg. And so my right hand is at the bottom. My left hand is on top. Your thumb is gonna go at a 45 degree angle. It's not gonna go straight across. It's gonna go at a 45 degree angle. So if I wanted to click this key, this is your register key for clarinet. This is your register key. If you want to, you should be able to press this key. So that means you should feel it, okay? You should feel this key, but it should not be pressed because you won't be able to play correctly. So thumb at a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> now, clarinet super easy. You have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. That's where you place your fingers. It's a little weird at first because it feels spread out, but that's where your fingers go. And with clarinet, if your finger prints, your finger prints right here are not covering the holes completely, you will not get a correct sound from your clarinet, okay? And it will not be a clarinet problem. It'll be a you problem. And some of you may say, oh, but miss, my, my fingers are too small. I can't do it. Yes, you can because I had, not me, but my husband had a student with tiny, itty bitty, witty little fingers, and she made it work because she wanted to make it work. So she made it work, okay? So I don't wanna hear any excuses that your fingers are too small because they're not, okay? You just have to train your muscles to do something new. And that's what I'm here for, to help you train those muscles. So our left thumb, okay, L for love, left thumb, goes on our thumb key at a 45 degree angle. This, this key for your thumb also has a hole. So you have to make sure that your thumb is centered on that hole, over that hole, okay? If it's half open, it's not gonna make us the correct sound. It's gonna sound ter terrible, it's gonna sound terrible. Okay, so cover that hole all the way. Then, this is a key, this little teardrop, is a key we don't press that one our finger our index finger goes on our first key our pointer finger goes on the very top key with the hole our middle finger goes on the last key with a ring on it that is connected to your bridge key if you look very carefully you can see it moving okay and then our ring finger goes over <coughs> excuse me goes over this last hole right here and then remember our thumb goes underneath the thumb rest and the thumb rest touches right where the nail meets the skin. Right where the nail meets the skin. That part 
the cuticle is centered underneath the thumb rest. <clears throat> and your first finger goes on the top key that is a hole with a hole. Your middle finger goes under the, the second key with the hole and the bottom key is the right key with the holes. Then that is how we put our fingers for the clarinet. Now, some of you guys with really small hands, you're gonna put your, clarin your thumb all the way over. Please don't do that. That's not right. And you're gonna end up pressing these side keys and that's completely going to mess up um, your sound because these side keys open up hole, op uh, they vent some holes on the side and then you're gonna get the wrong sound out. Same thing for this key. Your thumb has to be on the thumbprint covering the hole. The thumbprint needs to cover the hole because if not, and you put it over and it's your knuckle, this side key is gonna get pressed because your hands are in the wrong spot and then everything's just gonna get messed up. So fingerprints, the squishy part of your finger, fingerprints are gonna cover the holes. So whenever you play, nothing is going to get touched and your hands are already in a nice position, okay? All right, happy practicing.